we're doing a physical exam on this walking horse. Uh, we're just going to go through, through the process that we do when we get a horse in here. And we're just checking him out to make sure that he's physically able to do what his job's intended to be. So this is supposed to be a six-year-old walking horse uh, that gilding that's for sale. So the first thing we're going to do is get a weight on him and see what we got. So if you'll lead him around, we'll put him on the scales. Just like when you go to the doctor, they want to get uh, they want to get a weight on him and see what they got, okay? So let's bring him on around and we'll get a weight on him there. And this gives us, a lot of this gives us reference points in case we have any issues in the future we can compare where we're at. So as you can see this horse weighs about 976, 976 pounds. So we'll go inside and finish the rest of our exam. Alright Nick, bring him on in. We got him weighed and we'll bring him in here where it's a little warmer because it's a little chilly outside this morning. So he's supposed to be a six-year-old walking horse gilding. He's definitely a walking horse, definitely a gilding. So we're going to go up here and start the head and we're going to check and make sure that his age is correct. Because anybody that's dealt with horses and people selling horses, people buying horses, age can sometimes be uh, something that's not necessarily the truth becomes known. So then the other thing is I like to get in front of the horse and look for symmetry. Make sure you get a good view or a good idea about the cranial nerves. As you all know there's 12 cranial nerves and a lot of them are right around the face. You know the facial nerve, the um, optic nerve, olfactory nerve. And so we just palpate, look for any asymmetries. His age is six years old. I just check his teeth, make sure that they're in good shape. Then I like to just check for any odors, any drainage out of the nostrils. And you can see this horse is pretty, pretty symmetrical here. He looks pretty good. And then palpate the lymph nodes in under. Palpate the throat latch. Just make sure there's good space in there. And then we come down, just palpate the ears. See how he is about putting a bridle or messing around his head. So we do that. And then I just work my way on down. Listen to the heart and lungs. Usually on the right side of the lung feel, there's kind of a blind lobe of the lung there that collects a lot of trash. So if horses have allergies or any past respiratory issues, a lot of times you'll pick it up on this side of the horse. And then we just listen for gut sounds. So everything seems to be good there, so we'll move on and we'll we'll take a look at his eyes here while we're up toward the front here. And what we're looking for here is making sure his pupils dilate and contract, which they do. That all looks good. And we'll get another little exam looking back into the optic disc. Because vision gets to be a big part of a physical exam just like it is in a person. And I'm going to get Kayla to help me here and let's get a temperature on him. So this is Kayla. And I'm sorry the person holding the horse is Nick. So then again, I just like to check 
everything that I can. Before it's over, I like to have my hands on just about all the horse, make sure there's no lumps or bumps that we pick up. All right. It's palpated skeletal system. We just check for any tumors or issues that we can pick up and make sure that we don't have any hernias. Make sure there's no adhesions from the castration. Everything feels good. All that feels good. And then we'll just palpate his legs here. Can you hand me the hoof testers, please? All right, now we're just going to hoof test him here as we go. Easy, bud. Everything feels pretty good, looks pretty good on that leg. We'll just work our way back, palpate as we go. Checking tendons and soft tissue. Wolf testing. Just looking at him, looks like he's about to do a reset. So. There you go. Pal page pretty good there. Alrighty, so everything checks pretty good as you'll notice. Can you take him and just turn him a little bit? If you'll look at this right front foot, you can just bring him on around, Nick, so his right side's facing the camera. There we go, perfect. As you can see, this right front foot over here has got a little bit of a club to it, so we'll get an x-ray of that later on and see what we got, but you can see there's, there's mismatched feet. Being a walking horse, that's not too uncommon, especially with generator bloodlines, and that's what he's out of. So that's pretty normal, but we will get some x-rays here in a second, see what that's like. I'm going to pull some blood on him. So there again, just like when you and I go to the doctor, they're always checking blood. We'll get a fecal here in a minute. I don't know that you get that done when you go to the doctor yourself, but we're going to do that here anyway. <laughs> All righty. Then the other thing I like to do on all horses is just make sure that we don't, there again, have any tumors, any old scars left over from previous injuries. Because remember, this horse is for sale, so we want to make sure we get everything looked at. Palpate's pretty good. I just like to glance at everything. All righty, so far so good. So we're going to shoot us a couple of x-rays of these front feet. I'm going to give them just a little sedation here so you'll stand good. All right, let's bring them over to the x-ray. All 
All right. All right, we'll get gowned up here and get us some x-rays. So we'll put him on the blocks here so we can get us some good x-rays of these feet. Then I like to put dye on these feet so I can know exactly where the hoof wall is. So that way we've got a radiographic marker here. Okay. We'll start with this right front foot so we can get an x-ray of that. Back when me and you were growing up, Mr. Harris, it took forever to shoot an x-ray and get it developed. Now it's instantaneous. All right. Okay. So just to refresh, I normally don't shoot x-rays unless I see an issue on a physical exam. But we got this club foot on this right front. It's not bad, but we just want to take it view of it so if y'all want to come over and look at the x-rays so here is the right front foot there is the left front foot and you can see he looks pretty good he's just got a little flare here and there again remember early on in our conversation he's do a reset so that's going to take care of a lot of this he's got that dish in his foot which means we just got to take a little of this toe off bring this back good same way over here on the left one but the reason for putting the marker on there is I can tell exactly where that hoof wall is. It should be parallel to this bone. And it is in both feet. This is a blood vessel foramen there, blood vessel foramen there. There's your navicular bone. This is your coffin bone. This horse got a lot of soul depth, which is good. The biggest thing is he just needs a reset, but no rotation, good angles, hoof tested good, good and sound in my opinion. So we'll wait on the blood work and the fecal, which we'll run those with the machines. And other than that, he's in pretty good shape, looks like.